So I want to bring in Kristen Welker, the moderator of Meet the Press. Kristen, for most Americans, this will really be their introduction to Vance. That's absolutely right, Lester. It's a major moment for Vance and for former President Trump, who clearly made this decision from what he believes is a position of strength. Given he has a narrow lead in national and battleground state polls, Vance is now viewed as the future of the MAGA movement, as Hallie was just talking about. He energizes the Trump base, but doesn't exactly expand it. All of that underscoring what we're seeing at this convention so far. This is a party that is remarkably unified around Mr. Trump. Compare that to the divided Democrats, President Biden facing another call to drop out. And a new poll today showing 65 percent of Democrats want the president to step aside, all of it adding to a really complicated mix for President Biden, who, of course, as we've reported at the top, Lester, is now battling COVID. And there's also this major headline tonight about Democratic Senator Bob Menendez. That's right. This is definitely a big headline. One day after he was found guilty on all counts in a corruption trial, two sources tell us he's been phoning his Senate colleagues saying he does, in fact, intend to resign amid calls for him to do so. All right, Kristen Walker, thanks very much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.